Kenya's share of the blue economy to the GDP is 2.5%. According to Education Cabinet Secretary Julius Migos, Kenya is already in collaboration with marine international farms, which are employing Kenyans in large numbers. It is extending to where we are working with other um, international companies or international countries, uh, specifically to train people here so that when they go to those countries, they are skilled and job ready to undertake those jobs without them being retrained. As the government seeks to incorporate marine courses in the CBC curriculum, Kenyan private schools seem to be ahead with some, like the Pioneer School in Maragua, Muranga County, becoming the first high school in Kenya and the second in Africa to offer maritime courses. So many opportunities related to marine, which have not yet been exploited in in full and we feel when our students leave at from four after the four years they are better placed in the competitive round with marine skills. Munene Nyaga, Michael Muturi and Kelvin Bucho narrate to us the experience at the port of Mombasa and how they got to learn about ships, cargo offloading and much more. I have learned uh, the requirements that are required for various professions in marine time industry and uh, marine is an it's in industry that is coming up well. We launched the various um, vessels we have in the sea um, and also how to deal with minor issues that one faces here and there. We've gone to the electrical workshop it's somewhere there and we've seen the machines that are used in running the ship and we've also gone to the mechanical workshop it's also around there We've seen how it helps in running the ship and the, that information will help me uh, right now, even as I do physics. Titus Rotich, a maritime engineer, narrates various areas where students were taken through with some promising to pursue maritime careers. One, they went uh, through the electrical uh, uh, workshop. They also went to the mechanical workshop, the fabrication workshop. And now here at the dock or the bath where there are tugboats uh, with the KPA. These are expo has exposed our students to the careers within this maritime sector and it has brightened their knowledge in the same uh, field. Uh, they've learned, they've known that uh, one can pursue other careers not only in education but also in the maritime field which ranges from uh, being a chief engineer and also becoming a captain. If fully exploited, the sector has the potential to generate revenue to the tune of 500 billion shillings yearly, up from the estimated 178.8 billion shillings that the blue economy contributes to the economy annually. Alan Wino for K24.